Hello friends, welcome back. So once a request pass, then it will call the send headers. So send headers will uh, send the headers. Uh, whatever the headers uh, we need to send okay the content type and everything so i'm skipping it right now uh, then there is a query post so this function is now important in the query post uh, whatever the query verse we have so uh, this query verse uh, this query verse this query verse pass to the word wp query okay so there is a wp the query at um, global variable which will have a object which will, which is object of the wp query class okay and it will build the query string so this like it will just build the query string based on this m person and thing okay and um and it will call the query method so this query method so if you go to wp query class and the uh, query method so okay so this query and you know that uh, like uh, the query method will pass the arguments uh, set the query verse query verse object uh, property of the wp query class okay and then it will get a post and get post will uh, uh, whatever the query verse set based on that it will fetch the data from the database okay and based on that data we will identify whether it's a home page whether it's a single post page or whether it's a single post of the custom post type whether it's a taxonomy archive page or any other uh, templating uh, we have okay so uh, in the wp query uh, in the wp class this query post will uh, pass the query words and this query words whatever the um, based on the rewrite rule mess the rewrite rule and their query this query words parse will be uh, parsing and this pass to the wp query to fetch the data and where wp query will use the names log p or the category name to construct the wp query so we will also see how these things works okay since we have post id so probably post id will be used okay so in the rewrite api so uh, yeah so go to the rewrite api class i will also uh, pass wp query here so let's see what how it looks like so i'm just coming paste these two things right now okay so print underscore r wp query okay so let's see how it looks like the query way so if i refresh the page you can see the query which have p page name name what and these values are masked from the url structure okay uh, this url structure this one okay article is not is not part because it's a statically added in the, the url structure it's not a dynamic one okay then we have a query where so here query where is p equal to 178 then other query what are the query where uh, uh, wp query uses uh, and this query was used to construct the sql query okay and and then execute that sql query to fetch the data from the database and display in the front end okay so we uh, the query verse have been set by the word play, uh, wp query class and if you when the get post method of the wp query execute then it will construct the uh, database query and uh, you can uh, where is that request let me okay so here in the request property you can see the database query so here the select uh, and here you can see uh, post name wp block image so which is the slug then post id and then default post currently it's a post type uh, default post that's why it's a post type so if all these parameters matched then only it will uh, uh, then only it will uh, fetch the uh, data from the database and if this query executed then it's like successfully that that, that post is uh, exist in the database and it will be displayed into the front end and based on this query if you, if you remember in the wp query uh, video is single have been set so uh, this parameter sorry so um, this is single parameter set to one and so that is singular also set to one so is singular and is single functions template template tags will be conditional tags uh, we can say uh, used to identify whether it's a single post template or single custom post type template or anything okay um, so this way uh, wordpress uh, sorry uh, wordpress uh, identify the like data what data needs to be fetched from the database and display in the front end okay so i am going back 
to the main okay i have to go back directly uh, main okay so once the query post uh, function uh, like uh, wp query execute uh, wp query class execute and uh, executed xql query it called the handle 404 uh, uh, function method and this uh, method will use whether whether current request is the 404 request or not okay so uh, you can use this uh, pre-handle 404 if you want to sort circuit so filters whether to sort circuit default header status handling so if you want to run your code instead of the wordpress code then you can do that using this filter uh, it will check whether current it's currently it's 404 issued or not because if the same uh, method called that we don't want to send a header or anything so it will just checking if it's already 404 or all set into the wp query then we not no need to execute a further code okay uh, then it will set 404 by default if it's admin or if it's robots or if it's a favicon request then it will just set false because no need to send a 404 for admins okay and it will check whether uh, if posts were found check for paste content so based on that uh, uh, query where's whether post founds or not so in the in the post property uh, sorry so in the let me just okay so here this is the post property so if this post property have any data okay and if it's not empty uh, uh, then uh, it will go back and it says okay content found if it's a singular if it's a singular then it will uh, check whether it's a singular or not if it's singular then do something like uh, uh, adding some header like ping back and track back uh, and do a few further things pagination kind of thing here and if it's not paged or if it's not found then that means it's a 404 so set a 404 so here uh, by default we have said uh, here it's a set 404 true if the content found then we have to make it set 404 false and if it's if it's false then it won't set 404 and this set 404 uh, will set the is 404 property okay so if you go here it will set the is 404 okay uh, and uh, and it will set status header 404 no case header and it will just return the status header whether it's a 200 or 404 or any other headers okay so this way uh the 404 whether current request is 404 or not will be displayed so for example if i go here and something like uh, i have changed the uh, for example updated or something like just the main character and if it says then uh it's still fetching uh, because because of the post id okay so because of the post id is fetching the data and i am just uh, adding some uh, random numbers here for example now it will be a 404 okay sorry it's redirecting me uh, let me just do something more okay it's still redirecting me okay uh, probably i may need some other things uh, it's redirecting me something to okay it's redirecting it's i think canonical or the browser redi browser redirecting me okay but if you uh, pass the in uh, uh uh like there is a request and if it's a 404 there is no content found then it will set a 404 that just i want to showcase but currently it's not possible not possible means but uh, it's redirecting me okay so it's a 404 will be set this property and this property will used uh to set the to check whether current page is 404 or not okay so now go back to the main um, sorry main method okay and then it will register a global so it will just simply uh, register a global query seeing the global post and uh, default uh, global post which will be a first post from the like post array okay and it will set the request and few other things author data and everything okay so this way the entire this uh, rewrite rules are working like Based on the rewrite rules, WordPress identified the query where's based on that query where's WordPress pass those query where's to WP query, WP query construct SQL query based on those query where's it and it execute SQL query. If the data is found, then a uh, few further things will be done and then it will be displayed into the front end. If it's not found, then it will set a 404 and you will see the 404 uh, template. Okay. So yeah, so also let's see about uh, the 
author archive page for example or the query archive page so i am just uh, commenting this out let me just comment the entire thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress